Holy Fuse. Why we not helping her? Helping her? It's a one on one. It's a one on one. Hey, I still want to go put What the fuck is she in your car for? What the fuck? This hoe trying to speed off in the car. This hoe trying to speed off in the car. Wrong. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Damn. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, you guys are. You got glazed? Man, this bullet is everywhere, Breaking overnight, a hostage situation involving a child and a teenager in East Birmingham is now over. Yeah, police say that it ended peacefully early this morning. Again, police have arrested three people as they investigate the shooting that killed a 21-year-old mother. It's good now. So right now we're in the 1100 block of 26th Street South and South Birmingham. This is the south side area of Birmingham where they're conducting a homicide investigation. Uh, we did talk to a supervisor here at the scene and they did tell us that a, a woman is deceased. I'm uh, not sure if the woman is in a vehicle. To my left is a park area and uh, you all uh, really don't want to zoom in too much in that area because I, I'm not sure if, the, if that person is in uh, the vehicle where police have surrounded. Well, I feel like if you're going to take a hit from a dude that's incarcerated, you scary ain't though. So when you go through with that hit, I can't even fathom a scurry dude taking lives out here. I mean, think about it. It's a lose-lose situation when you're doing something like that. And to take orders from a man that's incarcerated, he put fear in your heart. Ain't no other way around it. Then we got to talk about the dude that's sending the hits. Homes, you getting females touched. Ain't nothing gangster about it. Imagine spending thousands of dollars to send a hit while fighting for your life in jail. And on top of all this, you allegedly do another hit that took the life of another female before your trial date for the first hit from your alleged ex-girlfriend. So fam, today we talk about an Alabama man who according to authorities in Alabama did two infant hires while incarcerated that resulted in two females losing their life who we'll later discuss may they both rest in peace. Now one of the female victims we already covered in the video just a month ago, a young lady who lost her life while on Facebook Live. Now the main suspect in this video is a man who been broadcast by the news for his crime since the age of 16, with one of them been robbing a local McDonald's with an associate, holding three of the employees up before collecting just under 200 bucks, not to mention kidnapping his family members, holding them for ransom. And that happened less than a year before his first alleged M for hire, all which we'll later discuss and go into further details. And of course, the two M for hires. But before we go over this one, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Fan meet Demarcus Chandler, 25 years old, from Birmingham, Alabama. But to authorities, he a vet when it come to committing crimes. This is a man on the last week of September accused by authorities for doing two M for hires while incarcerated. Now before we really go into details about the two M for hires, I want to give you a little background on Demarcus. Back in 2014, Demarcus was only 16 years old when he was arrested for allegedly robbing a McDonald's and his three employees. This incident took place on May 1st, 2014 at a Birmingham McDonald's. Demarcus Chandler and Timothy Smith was arrested. As mentioned, Demarcus was only 16 years old at the time and Timothy was 22. Police received a call just before 11 p.m. that the robbers were inside the business on the 3000 block of 12th Avenue. The call came from a citizen on the cell phone. Once arrested, they was charged with three counts of kidnapping, three counts of robbery, and resisting arrest. According to the arrest affidavits, Demarcus and his associate were robbing a restaurant of $147. Three employees inside were held against their will and threatened with violence during the holdup. Officers rushed to the scene and surrounded the restaurant. Chandler and Smith eventually surrendered or was taken into custody. No shots were fired and no injuries were pronounced. According to the police lieutenant at the time, he quoted, it turned out really good, end quote. Five years later, 2019, DeMarcus now 21 years old when he was charged with kidnapping and robbing his own family. The incident took place on a 500 block of Roebuck Drive at around 10.30 p.m. Now this incident is key because DeMarcus' girlfriend was inside this home. 
And it started as a domestic dispute. But little did DeMarcus' girlfriend know, after him getting rearrested after this incident we are about to discuss on parole violations, he felt he wanted to take the life while behind bars of his on and off ex-girlfriend. According to authorities, police responded to a domestic disturbance. As we mentioned, it was a call at a residence. Apparently one of the family members had called. Once on the scene, they found one of the victims who stated DeMarcus Chandler, 21 years old, was in the residence armed with a handgun and threatening others inside. The victim told police that Chandler had fired a shot inside the residence and refused to let anyone leave. At first, he failed to comply with officers. Chandler eventually let the hostages leave the residence. Chandler, however, did not leave. At that point, more Birmingham Police Department and SWAT officials arrived and negotiated with Chandler to get him to finally comply. At that point, Chandler was arrested and charged with three counts of kidnapping, one count of attempt murder, domestic violence, and possession of a pistol by a forbidden person. Overnight, a hostage situation involving a child and a teenager in East Birmingham is now over. Yeah, police say that it ended peacefully early this morning. WV1013 Sarah Killian is live from police headquarters with more on what happened. Sarah, was anyone hurt during all of this? Brooke and Eunice, thankfully, police were able to bring this to an end without anyone getting hurt. Now, right now, investigators trying to figure out how this all got started. Now, police initially got a call about a domestic situation at a home on Roebuck Drive. It all started around 1030 last night. When police got there, they found an older woman outside the home, and she told officers there were three more people inside that home being held hostage, including a 10-year-old and 17-year-old. Police also were told that shots were fired from inside the home, so officers quit quickly cleared out nearby homes and they called in a hostage negotiator. Uh, the hostages that were being held held inside, one of them was able to escape on their own and two others, the suspect actually let go. The uh, police that the hostage negotiator that they had called in, that uh, negotiator was able to talk the suspect down and able to get them out of the home peacefully. And it all came to an end after an hours long standoff. Uh, right now that suspect is in custody awaiting charges. Police tell us that the People being held hostage, they were relatives of this suspect. They're not exactly sure why this suspect took them hostage to begin with. That's something, of course, that's part of this investigation. We hope to get some more answers later today. Live in Birmingham, Sarah Killian. W now because of Demarcus Chandler history, he was denied bond and he had to sit in jail. But while behind bars, the next year, he felt like his on and off ex-girlfriend had something to do with him being in jail. He decided to put AK on her head. And it seemed that hit was planned out and executed. The girlfriend was identified as Raven Swain, only 24 years old in 2020, the year she lost her life. May she rest in peace. It was the last week of July. The 24-year-old woman was killed on a late Tuesday night. Officers had rushed to Underwood Park in the 1100 block of 26th Street after getting reports of a person running with a handgun following gunshots being heard in the area. Police quoting, upon arrival, officers were notified of a car lodged in the bushes at the entrance of the park parking lot. Upon further investigation, officers discovered the victim, Raven, in the driver's seat of the car, unresponsive, suffering from a gunshot wound. May she rest in peace. I love condolences to her family. All right, good evening, everyone. Everything is all it's good now. So right now we're in the 1100 block of 26th Street South and South Birmingham. This is the south side area of Birmingham where they're conducting a homicide investigation. Uh, we did talk to a supervisor here at the scene and they did tell us that a, a woman is deceased. I'm not sure if the woman is in a vehicle. To my left is a park area and uh, you all I really don't want to zoom in too much in that area because I, I'm not sure if, the, if that person is in uh, the vehicle where police have surrounded but you all see multiple markers that are uh, along uh, a grassy area in the parking lot area of uh, this uh, park not sure the name of the park just yet uh, we'll find that out throughout the course of this live video but right now we have been able to confirm through Birmingham police that they are working an active homicide investigation in the 1100 block of 26th Street South this is directly behind St. Vincent's Hospital. Uh, Highway 31 is off in the distance. You all probably hear that in the video as well. Uh, I'll shift over so you all can see the markers that I'm referring to. Let me zoom back out. So off to the right, you have a team of investigators who have been working this case. 
since uh, we've been here. Again, 1100 block for those who may be asking, 1100 block of 26th Street South uh, behind St. Vincent's Hospital at a park. Raven was loved. She lived in Birmingham. She was also a sister to a guy named Ryan, who was well known for his role as Damon on the hit FX series, Pose. The young star took the Instagram to share the news with his fans. His heartbreaking caption read, The unimaginable happened last night. My heart, little sister, my ride or die, my partner in life took her last breath. Quote, DeMarcus was charged with capital M, but then another arrest came. Solomon Manti III, 24 years old as well. He was arrested in connection to the slaying of Raven on July 28th. Now, according to Birmingham Police Department, DeMarcus had been in custody at the West Jefferson Correctional Facility when he had hired Solomon to kill Raven for $8,000 and, quote, precautionary gain and other valuable consideration to a contact. And to dump that down, basically to get rank in an alleged gain. After obtaining search warrants for the phones and examining them, a detective had testified they found multiple phone calls in the minutes before and after Raven's demise to one number that they later determined to be a cell phone used by Solomon. Technology also placed the phone to have been in the area of Underwood Park, the same park at the same time where Raven had lost her life. Police had previously testified that Demarcus and Solomon had swapped a bunch of messages via text and Facebook message before and after the shoot. Three people had told detectives that Demarcus had reached out to them from St. Clair Correctional Facility via Facebook or text in the months after Raven had lost her life. In one of the messages, he wrote, Your sister had been shot. You need to go find her in the park by Southtown. Murder case. Demarcus Chandler has been charged in connection to the murder of Raven Swain. Officials say that Chandler was in the West Jefferson Correction and Facility when he hired Solomon Minity to murder Swain. BPD detectives are charging both Chandler and Minity with capital murder. His trial was set to take place five years later, in July 2025. But only four years in, authorities claim that Demarcus make another hit for hire, while incarcerated, of course. And this time, another young woman had lost her life, but she wasn't the intended target, at least from Demarcus. Now, if you guys want to check the entirety of the video we did on this situation, I'll leave the link in the bio. As mentioned, she lost her life only a month after losing her baby father to gun violence as well. But we also played a clip of Asia getting into a back and forth while on live with another young woman over a man. Now she ended up talking to this man and in that video that we put out at first, I cut it out because he was going federal. But he mentioned he didn't want Asia there because he knew something was about to pop off. And I'm going to play this clip and I want you guys to hear it because even though we about to go over this situation and another man was later arrested besides Demarcus being charged with this crime, they won't disclose the name of the intended target. And something telling me it might have been Asia boyfriend. Allegedly. Check it out. <laughs> hey, don't stop these man. Be here. <laughs> Hello, nobody trying to pull up on nobody. These folks want to. I just told them. Man, look, you. Someone, like, you ain't like, gonna get that step hurt. Let me mute You crazy. Man, I'm not How you muted? From who? I don't know about this. So pop your phone up, huh? Oh, what you doing? Oh, what you doing? Man, this boy a fool. This boy is a fool. This boy is a fool. <laughs> you gotta turn it out because my connection going slow. Oh, they brought a phone. Hold on, I'm talking about the um. <laughs> yeah, I got my forces on. <laughs> I got, got my forces on. I'm finna bob and weave out here with a big hurt piece. <laughs> I just want to no, know, want to no, know, want to know why she's so nervous. Fuck what I'm saying, come on. Yeah, and my nigga say I'm perfect. Driona. It ain't my fault that I fall down. Driona, you got hurt piece, man. You need to come on. You need to reveal yourself. Driona. Janaya. <laughs> <laughs> Dreon and Janai, where y'all at, man? I'm out here. You be looking for me? Here I go. Yeah, here I go. Wait. It's crazy because the dude that was on that live doing all them jokes, he ended up getting shot. He survived, thank God. But his tone had changed when he was on that news clip. Asia had lost her life shortly after that live. In fact, she got on live from another person account. But suddenly you hear the gunshots and the 
phone had dropped and no signs from Asia. Now this incident happened on the third week of August is 2024. And according to Asia family, the video showed Asia and a bro that began with Janiah Hendricks, who was later arrested and later involved with multiple people. It appeared to start near Asia vehicle in the parking lot and then move to a breezeway in one of the apartment buildings before a hell of gunfire had erupted. The fight and subsequent shooting were captured on Facebook Live videos. Janiah Hendricks, 19, who was fighting with Poole before the shots rang out, is charged with first degree auto theft after authorities say she fled the chaotic scene in Poole's car. She was booked in the county jail at 4.51 p.m. Her bond was set at 30,000. Janiah Hendricks and Justin Hendricks are siblings. Both were taken into custody Wednesday night at a family member's house. Now, DeMarcus fall in play because he's accused of plotting Hendricks to kill a man whose identity was not released in court records. The intended victim was not injured. Now, let's slow down. DeMarcus sent another crash dummy who was the brother of the girl she was fighting. And he wanted to pop somebody who was allegedly close to Asia at that time when she got hit. Just putting things in perspective, the intended target was not injured. The gunfire had happened at 2 a.m. on August 20th at a home in Eastern Birmingham. Charging documents state shots were fired into a residence and an SUV. Now that incident took place in the early morning of Tuesday, the same day that Asia would go to be killed later that night, which is important on what Asia boyfriend had said on that phone call. The Marcus, however, is not charged in Asia's slaying. And the authorities say that the murder and the tip murder were unrelated. The only commonality being that Hendricks is charged in both. Live on your side, WC6 News at 10 starts right now. We have an update tonight on a story that horrified the community this week. Birmingham police have arrested three people as they investigate the shooting that killed a 21 year old mother. Your reporter James Giles covered the press conference about that shooting at the Monarch Ridge Apartments. He's live on your side with the latest tonight. James. Yes, yeah, Steve, Brittany, I asked police what started the fight and shooting that killed Asia Poole and they did not answer, but they did make it clear that these arrests may not be the last. Janiah Hendricks, her brother Justin Hendricks, and Taylor McLeod are all facing charges for Tuesday's shooting at Monarch Ridge Apartments in East Birmingham. Uh, we do believe there were more shooting than just these uh, two. Um, this is an ongoing investigation, so we'll just see where that leads us. The two men are charged with murder for the death of 21-year-old Asia Poole. They are also facing attempted murder charges for shooting this man, Demarion Rankins, in the leg during the incident where police say 168 shots were fired. I talked with Rankins Thursday, who told me the whole thing started from social media beef about a shared love interest. The drone is very small. It's literally so little. Somebody man about somebody. This ain't damn. Can't get mad at somebody that's a different choice. But police would not confirm Rankin's account. Authorities charged 19 year old Janiah Hendricks with theft of property, saying she stole Poole's car after fighting the woman just before the shooting. When she was like, her car getting took, I'm running out after her car to get her car. After the zone running to the car, they were shooting, so I really can't tell who was shooting back. Police say they pieced together who did what thanks to cameras at the apartment complex and a Facebook live stream of the entire thing. We'll continue to investigate until we can find uh, everyone involved. After the city of Birmingham sued Monarch Ridge over similar violence in 2021, the two sides reached a settlement that included an agreement linking the property's cameras to the real-time crime center. In a statement, the city attorney says her office is looking into next steps. They never did speak to us. Um, the cameras do work and their footage is available, so we were able to access that to help further our investigation. But there again, uh, they were supposed to be feeding into our real time crime center. And again, Chief Thurman says they're still investigating and could arrest additional people. Now, if you do have information, come forward. You can even do it anonymously if you call crime. Family, it's an unfortunate situation. Before we wrap this video up, we do want to say once again, rest in peace to all the victims. We're talking about a man who continued to have his hand on orchestrating hits from behind bars. And he only getting females touched. And in the process, he waiting for trial. Y'all let me know how you guys feel about this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.